sharing with you what I wore this week to give you some outfit inspiration for what to wear this fall. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it is your girl Jordan of Little Miss JB Style, your pear-shaped shorty style guru, and I'm sharing what I wore in this past week, not only to give you an idea of just what I've been wearing in general and what I've been up to on a day-to-day -day basis, but to give you some inspiration, whether you're working from home, maybe you're headed into the outfit, you've got a cute little coffee date, and you just want some general inspiration for what to wear this fall, I have got you covered. As always, if there's a piece that you are loving, gotta have it, you wanna wear it, style it, and look like a baddie, yeah, I've got you. The links are in the description below. I do not gatekeep. So if there is something you absolutely love, the links are down there. Also, if something is sold out, I make sure to note that and I'll put something similar below it that's similar in price, style, and of course, quality. With that, let's go ahead and get into what I have been wearing this week and some casual chic fall outfit ideas for you. Happy Monday. I am clearly having a very slow Monday. I am in my cozies. This is what I plan to wear. I have nowhere to go, got a lot of administrative work to get done, a couple of brand deals to sort through contracts, emails and stuff for work, so this is my cozy matching set. I just got this from ASOS. If you watch my Insta stories on Friday, I share with you what I've recently purchased and show you how it fits, and so this was on last Friday's, and I am... Um, obsessed I, at first i was kind of nervous because i wasn't sure the fabric was going to be what i wanted it to be and it's not a traditional sweatsuit where the inside is nice and plush but it works so well because it's actually still really warm today it's like gonna be in the 60s maybe low 70s so this actually turns out to be like super breathable and super comfortable and like come on just call me okay like i am the big cat this is my jungle and i own it yes so so let me give you a closer look the top I actually have in a size 4, I probably could have sized down to a size 2 to be honest and I still actually do have that option because this is my first time like wearing it, wearing it. And then the pants I have in a size 6 and they have these nice elastic waist. They're super breezy, super comfortable. My only beef, and this is just personal, I wish that they had pockets, right? Like, why do we never get pockets? And then because I'm lounging around the house, we have my Amazon slippers, you know, nothing crazy but... Whenever you're in doubt, whether you're working from home or you're going into the office, honestly, a matching set seriously can save you so much time and so much energy, and it's something I've definitely been leaning into over the past couple of years. You've probably already seen my matching set video, and I recently did actually do a blog post sharing like all the matching sets I feel like are worth kind of like purchasing this fall. So if you're in the market for one, you're looking for one, I have that linked in the description. You can head over to my blog and check it out. Oh, jewelry. I really don't wear much jewelry when it's just like me chilling around the house. So I just have my love ring from Vanessa Mooney and I have this ring from Biela Vintage. The nails, I got so many questions about these. These are actually press-ons from Forever 21. Can you believe it? Like, they are super cute. These did come with like those pre-glue tabs inside and I honestly like took my nail and like scratched them out and then I put these on with like the static nail glue. And when I tell you like the static nail glue, I will also link that in the description, but the static nail glue, it is like eight dollars and when i tell you the last time i had a set and i use it they last like two weeks no problem like no problem at all so yes so yes a couple little tidbits from me to you today and then my other ring i got this more love ring from bird Bee. it's really great i love the message and it's just a great reminder every day to just love myself a little bit more and what i love about this is i can literally just throw on some sneakers throw on a leather jacket and this would be a really fire outfit to just like go run errands and stuff in. so i absolutely love this for working from home, being comfortable and still cute, and not being in your pajamas, but I guess sweats are also pajamas. Either way, this feels like a step up in my opinion, so this is my outfit for Monday. Happy Tuesday, running just a little bit late this morning, so I'm gonna rush this OOTD, I apologize. So I am meeting up with some suppliers at the coffee shop. I'm very fortunate that I am still more or less fully remote, and so when I do need to meet in person, I can kind of say, when and where so I love meeting at the coffee shop you know this if you've been watching my videos so the nice thing is the suppliers I'm meeting with are women today so I feel like I can get away with this and they're not gonna say anything super crazy about it because you know if it was a man that midriff out is gonna keep me from doing it anyway anyway <laughs> so starting with the sweater this is from H&M you have definitely seen this before this is a size small I love this shade of brown as soon as 
the temperatures drop. I don't know what it is about fall. It's like, as much as I love wearing color all summer long, and you have seen on my Instagram, it has been a colorful summer. Something about the cold weather, it's like brown, black, like I just don't even want to... Mm. So to keep it from being boring, I went with these really fun elevated basic pants. If you follow me and watch my Instagram stories, you have seen these pants from River Island. Like how perfect are these? There is not any stretch in them, so I got these in a size 8, which is a size up from what I would normally buy. And there's plenty of room that I probably could have gotten away with the 6, but I actually just really love how relaxed they sit, right? It's like... It's a vibe. Then the boots, these are old from Berkshaw through ASOS. They are also a dark brown, so they match the coloring in the sweater because you know I like to be matchy matchy like that. You have seen this tote bag. This is my H&M tote bag. Love animal print, of course, as a little personality, carries what I needed to carry. Fun, professional, and cute. I have on the bracket earrings, which are a crowd favorite. I believe these are still on Revolve. As for the rings, I have my usual Vanessa Mooney, my Oak and Luna, and then this one is from Biella Vintage. And my go-to more self-love ring from Bird B. So this I would consider like a casual chic, not having to go into the office work outfit. So it's still, again, professional enough, and I'm going to be sitting down anyway that you probably won't even notice that this is cropped. But could I get away with this at the office? Probably not. And if you want to make this more office appropriate, obviously just don't wear a crop sweater you can find a cute bodysuit, something like that, but other than that, I think the outfit like goes, right? Anyway, happy Tuesday, I'm off. Before we get into the rest of the outfits, I'm super curious, what are some pieces that you have been gravitating towards and wearing on repeat, even just for the last two weeks? So, so many times people tell you to check in with yourself mentally, check in with your physical health. Another area that I love to check in is with my style and trying to figure out what I've been reaching for and why I've been reaching for it to help me as I decide maybe what might be worth adding. This is a really great time of year as the temperatures drop to really be checking in with your closet and getting a feeling for pieces that you see yourself wearing again and again and again. So I'm really, really curious. Let me know in the comments what piece have you been reaching for the most and why. Happy Wednesday. I wanted to give a little pumpkin spice. I really have nothing like crazy planned today. So I just kind of like threw this outfit on. I saw this top at Forever 21 and audibly went <gasps> like the whole soul just left my body. And when I tell you that is probably a sign of that's a piece you should have in your wardrobe. I'm just gonna let you know, your intuition knows, like your intuition knows, and if I audibly like gasp, I like make a little motion, I just, I fall out, usually what that means is I'll eye up the piece, I will save it, I like to use a website called Karma, and I save it on there because you can get notifications on when things go on sale, get your things for the discount, for the low low, and then I usually will wait maybe like a week or two before I actually like pull the trigger to make sure it's like, okay, it wasn't just a one-time thing, and um, yeah, I, I loved this so much. I also have it in black. Just saying, I am definitely that girl. Like, if I like it, I will get it in another color. Absolutely. So, this is my little pumpkin spice fit for the day. Like I said, this top is from Forever 21. It is in a size small, and when I tell you, you're going to see me in a lot of elevated basics. And this is what I would consider an elevated basic. Like, the basic version of this would either be a longer sleeveless turtleneck or a cropped style, but this asymmetric hem is what elevates it and it just gives it something a little bit different. I don't have to do anything extra to style it, it just steps up the outfit as a whole without any extra effort on my part and that, my queens, is the power of a good elevated basic. Very simple, again minimal effort which you know I'm all about and your outfit just will pop, okay? So I decided to pair that with these light wash jeans which are from H&M. I decided to do a skinnier style because I found that this top actually looks better with a more low rise jean. And surprise, surprise, pretty much all of my jeans are high rise, but I found that with my mom jeans from H&M, I can kind of pull them down just a little bit to give the effect of a more low rise jean. And I'm not mad at it. Now for accessories, you know I don't really like mixed colors a whole lot. Not that I can't. Not that I can't. I just don't most days because it's a lot more effort than I really like want to put into my outfit, so... I decided for the accessories to go with neutrals. I have these neutral booties. These are old from Lulu's. They are the like cowgirl style. I have not given into cowgirl boots and these are probably the closest I'm gonna come for a while. And let me show you the full look with the jacket and with my purse so you can get like the full effect. So this is the full outfit. I have the very fun, I love a faux shirling for the fall 
crop jacket. This is old from ASOS. I love that this color matches the boots because again, I like to be matchy matchy like that. I just do. And for the bag, I decided to keep it neutral so I have this really cute bag from Birdbean. What I love the most about it is actually like you see that chunky gold chain detail. I just feel like that's so fun. So this is typically, I feel like in the fall, how I like to do color. It's usually a pop of color. I don't really find myself doing a lot of like bold monochrome. Let me not lie to you. Let me stop myself before I tell you a lie because that is not true. But this is, this for me is one of my more go-to ways when I do color if I'm not going to do monochrome. It's literally just a cute little pop. And I just love that this is giving a hint of fall, a hint of pumpkin spice. Super cute. And this is just, again, like very casual and I like that it's just like it's just casual chic and that is my mo when it comes to outfits you know a mix of everyday but a little more glam and then for the accessories I have these earrings that are from bird B. rings this should be no surprise I have the love ring from Vanessa Mooney and my nameplate from Oak and Luna then on this hand to play with the spiral and my earrings I have this ring that is from Lulu's this middle ring from Bird Bee and this pinky ring which is from ASOS. So yeah, this is my Wednesday outfit, casual chic, nothing special planned. So if I do want to run errands, like I said, I can just throw on the jacket, throw on the boots and go. Otherwise, I'll just lounge around the house in this really cozy sweater and these super comfy mom jeans. It is Thursday. I have a coffee date today. I am very excited and yes, this is the same sweater from a couple of days ago. Let's get into my outfit. We have this sweater from H&M. It is cozy. I love it. And yes, I am a cereal rewearer. And don't you worry. It's been thrown in the wash. I know someone was going to say something smart. But we have washing machines in 2022. Don't be thinking we out here just raggedy, okay? Especially not for a date. Not for a date, okay? So then, of course, I went with these amazing knit pants from NAKD. You have seen these before. I get so many questions on these. I'm going to warn you. These are a high maintenance item. If you are not a high maintenance girly, I would pass on getting any kind of knitwear in terms of pants because the downside is just as much as you have to worry about your sweater snagging, you definitely have to worry about the pants snagging. And even with jackets, like I usually will wear it with that brown bomber jacket in the back, but I have to be careful because the zipper actually can like snag on the material. And of course, then you have to go in and fix it and things like that. So I will warn you that Doing knitwear pants, like true knitwear, like this is not for the faint of heart. Like a ripped pants might be more your speed, a little more safe, but if you do not mind a little extra effort, knit pants just feel like they set it off, right? Like, because again, you're going to hear me say this all the time, when we're doing monochrome, when you mix textures, that's what makes it interesting. And come on, this just is an unexpected right like who's expecting you to pop out in this no no one right no one and that is what I love about it that is those are the kinds of pieces that I love to choose especially in more neutral colors like this because I know I can re-wear them and wear them with a lot of different things versus more statement pieces because I feel like the knit already is feels statement for me right like this might be like ah oh, Jordan that's not really a statement but for me I'm sorry the statement is being made I'm gonna say it so and then for the boots, it's the same boots also as earlier in the week because, of course, monochrome show day. So we have the Berkshire booties. And then for my bag, you already know I was going to bust out the brand, right? Like you just, because again, we have the ribbed detailing in the top. You have the texture in the knit in the pants and then the leather in the back. I mean, texture on texture, boring where? Boring who? Monochrome boring for what? Never. Not me. Not today. Not ever. Okay. For the accessories, I love these Birdberry earrings so much I decided to wear them again. I have this really cute bad bee necklace that I got from a local boutique called Pattaya. For the rings, pinky ring is from Lulu's, love is from Vanessa Mooney, rich bee ring is from Bird Bee. Then I have then I have the more self-love ring also from Bird Bee and this big dome ring is from B Ella Vintage. This is definitely a casual date outfit. I would do something a little bit dressier if I was doing dinner, something a little nicer, something that deserved the dress up, but this still shows like she a light bite, but you know what I mean? If you really hungry, you gonna have to spend a little more money, you hear me? Okay, no, I'm just playing. Kind of, not really. Um anyway, this is my coffee date outfit for Thursday. It is Friday. I really don't have much planned today besides doing some filming. I also plan to just run a couple of errands. I have a few things that I ordered online that I like to 
pick up in the store because a lot of stores have better sales online than they do in the store so I am one of those people I will find an item get it on sale online and have them ship it to the store for free you know just to save them coins cuz why not so this is my just casual Friday outfit for that I actually already ran a couple of my errands. I stopped by the mall and AOK -OK Cafe, which is in the Aritzia, has this amazing ube latte, which if you don't know what ube is, it's basically a purple sweet potato, but it is such a delicious flavor to have in a latte. I cannot stress how much I'm obsessed over this and I'm probably going to be spending all of my coins to go grab this like every day. So let's get into the base of this outfit and then I will show you how I dressed it up to leave the house. Both the top and the pants, I am just now realizing, are from H&M. I got this in a size medium last year. I am obsessed because party in the back. That's right, the back is open, which I really, really love. I feel like I probably could have sized down to this in a small, but what I love, obviously, about it is the cutout detailing. It is super flattering for my figure, especially paired with pants in the same color. So I have these wide leg jeans from H&M. I think these are maybe a size 6. Super stretchy, super comfortable, which you know I love in my denim. If you've watched any of my denim videos, I absolutely don't like 100% cotton. So I try to get stretched whenever I can. And these babies have stretch. And yes, that was my knee popping because your girl is in her 30s. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, because I'm lounging around the house. You guys have seen these. These are my Amazon slippers. It is like freezing. It was 40 something this morning. And then for accessories, I have these earrings. These are just some inexpensive ones I got at Forever 21. As far as rings, I have a slew of rings. So the pinky ring is from Lulu's. This ring finger is from Vanessa Mooney. The middle finger is from Oak and Luna. And my pointer finger, that is from Biela Vintage. Then on this hand, I've been wearing this more love ring all the time. Just to remind myself more self-love. And this is also from Bird B. So let me show you how I dress this up to actually leave the house. Because again, it is cold. So just wearing this open back right now. Even though, you know, everyone's like, it's fall. It's cold. So, um, and I do not like to be cold. So let me show you how I styled this to leave the house. So this is how I dressed it up to leave the house. I added this really fun leather trench coat. Also from H&M at this point. It honestly is a miracle that H&M doesn't sponsor me. You guys can go ahead and just keep tagging them and maybe they will, but I love this faux leather trench coat. I got this a couple of years ago. It is super cozy, super flattering, and it just always adds the drama, especially if you're going to do all black. You know this about me. I talk about this whenever you do monochrome. It is so important to mix textures to keep the outfit from looking boring, so adding the leather really makes this pop, I feel like, because just the button-up and just the jeans really isn't cutting it. And I know what you're thinking, like, oh my god, you're covering up the back, but baby does not like to be cold. I do like, though, that even with the trench coat, you still get the cutout effect, which really just, I mean, how sexy is this? It's sexy. It's sexy. And then for a bag, I just grabbed this, like, simple ASOS bag. You've seen this before. It's got the nice crocodile texture, so it also plays on the leather, but gives it something different. And then... My Dolce Vita booties, which are really beat up and need a little TLC, but they add a little bit of faux suede element, so a little bit of softness to the leather, so it just softens the look overall. So this is my Friday, going to run some errands, and of course, filming outfit of the day. With that, that is what I wore. Again, some casual outfits for around the house, some outfits to go run errands in. Just a lot of casual chic fall fashion because you know, you know that's where I live, right? You know I just love that like step above simple, right? It's like, okay, it's like, okay, you know, on a basic level, yeah, that's a top and pants, but just something about it pops, whether it's just that elevated basic or it's just something you just truly wouldn't expect, like the knitted pants, right? So I'm really curious before you go, make sure you tell me what your favorite look in the comments was and why. I always love to hear what look resonated with you the most and why it resonated with you. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. You got some tips, some tricks, some styling inspiration for how to wear your clothes, what to look for in clothes, and really how to build the wardrobe you want to build because that's what I really want to help you with. I want you to feel confident. I want you to understand why you're choosing the pieces you choose, how you can put those pieces together better to really make you feel 
absolutely amazing. Not just look amazing, but feel amazing. That's the key. You want to make sure you, you got to feel it. Okay. You got to feel it like in your chest. And I want you to feel it, girl, because you deserve it. I know you are working hard. We are coming into the last quarter of the year, and I know you're trying to get all those last minute goals in. So I want you to feel confident in this area of your life because I know that confidence will drift over into the other areas. You're going to feel like you can tackle it, and you're going to make those goals happen because you are, girl. I know it. Like, I have no, like, I'm not even sweating. I know that by the end of the year, all those goals you have to achieve for yourself, you're going to get them. So calm down, put it into the universe, and let it happen. With that, thank you seriously again for watching all the way through, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye!